Happy Days star Gava Noherly he has died aged 70. The news was confirmed by Gavon's brother Cormac, who told The Hollywood Reporter that he had passed away on September 15 in Bath, England, but did not reveal a cause of death. Gavon's co-star in the American sitcom which kick-started his career, Ron Howard, paid tribute to the talented and spirited Irish actor in a Twitter post after the news of his passing broke online. He wrote, R.I.P. Gavin. I knew him as the first of two chucks on hashtag happy days and then as Eric in hashtag Willow where I had the pleasure of directing him. A talented actor with a big free spirit. Gavin appeared in the first seven episodes of Happy Days in 1974 as Chuck Cunningham, the eldest of the Cunningham siblings. Gavon's character Chuck famously disappeared from the show without explanation and was later replaced by another actor, before being written out altogether. The character gave rise to the term Chuck Cunningham Syndrome, referring to characters who disappear from TV shows without explanation and are later reached to have never existed. Previously discussing his decision to quit the show, Gavin said, I pulled out of it, I didn't want to do it. They had me at college, I was going to grunt and bounce a basketball once every couple of weeks for probably three or four years. And at 20 years old, that's not the gig you want to be doing. But that was my big break, that got me established around town as a kid who got hot in a hurry. Happy Days told the story of his brother Richie Cunningham and their family. His father Howard owned a hardware store while his mother Marion was a homemaker and his brother Chuck was a high school basketball star. He also had a younger sister called Joni. Gavon's break on the silver screen came when he starred in Robert Altman's A Wedding as character Wilson Briggs in 1989. Five years later he played Jack Patachi in Irvin Kirshner's James Bond film Never Say Never Again. He was also known for appearances in Death Wish, Willow and Superman 3. Gavin was reunited with his Happy Days co-star Ron while shooting Willow in 1988, which he was directing. The actor, who was one of four children, was born in Dublin on July 29, 1951 and was raised in Malibu and Dublin. In 2013, he told The Independent, to give a child another perspective from L. A. is a great thing. There the sun is powerful, the sea is powerful, the money is powerful. But Dublin in those days held its own power. It was dirty and poor and smelly, and for a young man from California, it had its own magical pull. After relocating to England in the early 80s, Gavin made appearances in Well Meet Again, Coded Hostel, Sharp, Jonathan Creek, and Midsummer Murders. In 2009, he returned to the big screen as Sheriff Baines in the follow-up to Neil Marshall's cult horror film, The Descent 2. His last turn on the big screen was as John Anderson in Queen of the Redwood Mountains, a film inspired by the authors of The Beat Generation. Gavin is survived by his wife, Juliet, and his children, Rogan, Lonan, David, and Daniel.